Hello Virgo, welcome to your love reading. This is for February 1st through February 15th, 2019. Virgo, if you are Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this is for you. If this one resonates, as always, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, leave your comments. As this is general, if you need something more personal, click the link below and you can go to my website and book your reading. February special is the hour phone readings. They are $75, normally $125. So, if you need that reading or any other reading, just visit my website. All right. Also, too, I'm on Instant Go if that's easier for you as well. All that information is below. All right, Virgo. As always, I did pre-shuffle, but I like to do a few more here during the reading. Get the energy moving. Virgo, what is coming in for love for Virgo? All Virgo, please. General love energy for the sign of Virgo. February 1st through the 15th. 2019. I see that Knight of Pentacles at the bottom there. I normally think of that as a Virgo. So there you are showing up, Virgo. All right, let's see what's coming in. A couple more shuffles for you guys. Virgo, love energy coming in. February 1st through the 15th, 2019 for Virgo. All right, you guys, let's get to it. We're cutting it and then we're going to chat about it. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what's coming in right now. Current moment, challenge or influence on your mind, recent past, the situation, what you'll experience coming in, how you see yourself, outside influences coming in, hopes and fears, most likely outcome. All right, Virgo, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. We got your overall energy, the King of Cups in reverse. Y'all deal with Scorpio a lot. So some of y'all might be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. If not, King of Cups can really be anybody. It's just maybe somebody isn't completely offering their emotion or they're not showing it. Could be a little bit of manipulation with that King of Cups in reverse. All right. Somebody might be a little bit salty with the King of Cups in reverse or just not showing their emotion. That King of Cups in reverse also too, like I said, can be a little bit manipulative too. So let's take a look. All right, Virgo, coming in right now, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this could be you guys. This is just that energy of feeling like you really can't be without somebody. It can be codependent or clingy, but it also is just the energy of like wanting to be in a relationship with somebody. That energy of like, I can't be without this person, right? I wanna be with them no matter what it takes. What's influencing or the challenge is the sun in reverse. It could be a Leo, could have something to do with kids as well. There might be just a lack of clarity right now or a lack of healing, some type of lack of happiness or positive change here, <clears throat> but somebody feels very, very tied to another person with the nine of pentacles in reverse. Now what's on your mind is the devil in reverse on a Capricorn, okay? You guys wanna just release any kind of toxicity within your love life. It's letting go of that. It's not, it's it's letting go of maybe feeling restricted or any type of negative energy. You're, it's just like releasing it and starting again. <clears throat> okay, but the challenge is to have some type of change possibly. Now in the recent past, you have the lover. So very strong union, sign of Gemini, right? This is a partnership. It's, you know, it's feeling like you're in love, like you have a soulmate connection. It could also be all about making a choice or a decision when it comes to matters of the heart as well. The situation is the five of wands in reverse. So again, letting go of inner conflict, walking away from disagreements or strife or competition or that kind of thing, which makes sense because on your mind here is releasing negative patterns. And that's why, the, that's why everything's happening, okay, is to let go of that conflict, to release any type of negative thinking or negative, com, you know, negative inner conflict. You see yourself right now as the six of pentacles. You, do, you guys definitely want to give to someone or something. You want balance, no more one-sided shit. You see yourself as reciprocating, giving time and energy, but it being equal. You want balance, obviously. Now coming in, Virgo, what you're going to experience is the Ace of Swords. Could be some type of communication, a breakthrough, clarity, victory, right? With the Ace of Swords. Could be air energy that you're dealing with. We see, I see a lot of Gemini. Outside influences coming in is the Two of Swords, more air. Somebody is in two minds here, though. Somebody needs to make a decision about something. Take off the blindfold, make a decision. Somebody might be kind of guarded 
or rejecting, just not, again, very indecisive, that mental energy, not able to come to some type of conclusion here. Now your hopes or fears is this page of cups. So wanting some type of communication, somebody to open up their emotions. Could be a Pisces, could be any water energy, but if not, again, this is about a commitment. It's following your dreams. The Page of Cups has a dream and they're pursuing it. It's flirty, it's young. And again, it's somebody really opening up their emotions, perhaps an apology as well, because we have like a lot of this release energy. Most likely outcome is the Five of Cups in reverse. So again, release, getting rid of any type of negativity, disappointment, or regret from the past, realizing, right, that you still have emotion to give or to receive, okay? It's letting go of that negativity from the past. So I feel like y'all might be dealing with somebody that's just a little bit emotionally closed off, okay? And you guys are in release mode. It doesn't have to be that you're releasing this person. It could, but it could just simply be, you know, hey, let's, let's let go of any kind of like arguments or toxicity that we've had in our relationship and get over it, right? It's kind of the energy that I'm getting. And I feel like there will be communication and some type of breakthrough coming in. That Ace of Swords sometimes can be severance, so we'll have to clarify it. But it can also be very truthful communication, but somebody's still a little bit indecisive here. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We want to see February 1st through February 15th, 2019. What will a Virgo experience in their love life, please? couple more shuffles. I did pre-shuffle this deck as well. Virgo, love energy. What's coming in for Virgo, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 1st through the 15th, 2019. Clarify this bad bitch of a reading for Virgo. All right, you guys, let's cut it and do it. Let's see what else we can uncover in this reading for you guys. So those of you that are waiting on some type of breakthrough, I see that it could come in, but I feel like somebody's still indecisive here, either you or the other person. Um, let's see though. Okay, so this overall energy, we have the King of Cups in reverse, water energy, or somebody that's just not completely opening up their emotions. Why is this King of Cups in reverse for Virgo's overall energy? And we have the Devil, more Capricorn energy. Okay, there could be some manipulation with this person or just feeling very, very tied and bound with that devil energy. There's a very strong connection to this person with the devil, with the lover's energy, right? It's kind of, it can be a soulmate card as well, but there could be just some negative energy around this relationship or this person. Let's get another card on the devil. Why is the devil here for Virgo's overall energy? The Four of Cups. So again, it's kind of like that energy of being a little bit complacent or bored. It could be a rejection of an offer. Somebody may not be completely happy with what this person is offering or vice versa. Okay. There could be some negative thinking tied to this connection. Now, in the past, we have the Lover's card. Sign of Gemini. Why is this Lover's here in the past for Virgo? What's the Lover's card about, please? The Two of Cups. Wow. Awesome. Fucking nice energy. Very, it's definitely a soulmate energy with the lovers and the two of cups. This is a very, very strong connection that you have with somebody, okay? And you guys, you know, kind of maybe have came to some type of, you know, choice or something. You had this decision to make regarding this connection, but it's a very, very strong union, okay, with that lovers and the two of cups. That's why coming in right now, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. This is like not wanting to be without this person. Why is this nine of pentacles in reverse here coming in for Virgo? That's y'all's energy, of course. The emperor. You might be dealing with an Aries or somebody older, somebody has some type of authority. The emperor could be a very powerful energy. This person may have a high-ranking position at work or something like that. Sometimes the emperor can be a husband, okay? But this is all about standing in your power, bringing stability and control over to a situation, you know? And again, it's a, it's a relationship. It's somebody that you definitely want to be with and want to bring stability to it, okay? And power, stand in your power. Now, the challenge is the sun in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse the challenge for Virgo? Why is it here? The four of swords, okay? There may be, I'm just getting this feeling that somebody is like trying to kind of heal or pull away or just get their thoughts together. It could involve children with this emperor and the sun card. That's like husband, father. 
the sun can be children. If not, for others of you, the challenge is going to be to get some type of change here because somebody might be a little bit withdrawn. doesn't mean they're leaving or anything like that. The four swords can just talk about pulling away a little bit, like getting a moment, right? Healing, getting your thoughts together. And remember, we have that king of cups in reverse. So again, somebody might just be a little bit emotionally closed off. So the challenge is to get some type of change from this person if they seem a little bit isolated. Now, on your mind, Virgo, is the devil in reverse. You guys just want to, you know, get rid of any toxicities within your, your relationships or your love life. Why the devil? Why is this devil in reverse here? And the six of pentacles in reverse. No more one, again, no more one-sided shit. And that's what I saw here too. You guys want this person... No more negative thinking. No more restrictions. Like, it, this is going to, on your mind, Virgo, this is like equal give and take. Okay? You may feel like you give more to the situation or vice versa, and you don't want that anymore. It's like, no more. Like, clean slate here. Let's get rid of it. The devil in reverse. Six of pentacles in reverse. You're going to give to me as much as I give to you. Okay? That's what's on your mind. That's why everything's happening because of the five of wands in reverse, right? Getting rid of conflict or bantering. Why is this five of wands in reverse? The eight of pentacles in reverse, okay? You guys, some of you might work with this person. But this is like getting rid of, walking away from any type. Again, I'm just getting a lot of like one-sided energy. Like no more, you know, me putting in all the effort. Like this has to be equal. Both people are going to, you know, do equal give and take here. Because with the eight of pentacles in reverse, maybe somebody's not putting as much time or effort into that. All right. But it's a very strong connection regardless. Coming in, you're going to experience the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords coming in for Virgo? Why will they experience this Ace of Swords energy? The Ten of Swords. Okay, so just be careful with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. It could be Severance. Both of those cards are Severance. You know, again, as I said before, that Ace of Swords, anything with a sword can be tied to the energy of cutting something out or severing ties. But also, too, what I'm getting from this is coming in, what you're going to experience is some type of breakthrough in regards to maybe a betrayal or an ending in the past or something like that. Let's get another card. There could be a conversation and it's like really to the point as to why maybe somebody hurt somebody with that Ten of Swords. Because remember, as I'm saying, we've got a lot of like release mode and a lot of energy of like, let's take back the power, like let's have a conversation. Why has this been so one-sided? I want it to be more equal. What's the Ten of Swords about coming in for Virgo? See the Ace of Wands. We want this brand new beginning here, right? And so let's have a conversation and have some clarity as to why maybe I was hurt in the past or why this person was hurt in the past. That Ten of Swords doesn't always have to mean, oh my God, it's an ending. It can talk about just feeling laid out. Like it could be hurt. It could be through words. Maybe somebody got hurt through some type of words or communication. But with the Ace of Wands, we have to have this breakthrough about this hurt or this past severance so that we can have this new beginning because you have that with the Ace of Wands. There's a high attraction here and it's all about new beginnings. Beginnings. You see yourself right now as this uh, Six of Pentacles. That's your energy. Why the Six of Pentacles? Why does Virgo see themselves as the Six of Pentacles? The moon in reverse, sign of Pisces, just opening up. Again, I'm getting a lot of that release, open up, conversations. How do we fix it? Passionate new beginning is what you're going to experience. And so you see yourself right now as wanting equal give and take and to open up, to reveal, not to keep anything within, to let go of that anxiety and to have a clear and present conversation. Now, outside influences. So this would be in your environment. The energy coming in is this Two of Swords. Could be Libra. Why is the Two of Swords coming in for Virgo? And the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody's having some indecision here about the Five of Pentacles. Of course, the Five of Pentacles is talking about being left out in the cold. Five is a challenging number. It can be strife. It can be loss, right? It could be somebody just giving somebody the cold shoulder. So coming in, Virgo, you may feel, and again, it doesn't mean, oh, you're going to get ghosted or left because it's, it's not that. It's more indecision around this Five of Pentacles. So coming in, it could be a blockage. Somebody's blocking you out and leaving you out in the cold, but I'm just not feeling that. I feel like this has more to do with somebody's just indecisive, like they're kind of in two minds, right, with that two of swords. And it has to do with maybe why somebody was left out in the cold or why somebody experienced some type of pain or loss and not being able to completely open up about it. 
but it will happen, but this person is still going to be a little bit confused. Why the Five of Swords? Why is this Five, or I'm sorry, the Five of Pentacles? Why is this Five of Pentacles coming in for Virgo? The lovers, but see, again, sign of Gemini, there's a very strong connection here. It's a soulmate connection. It's like there's no ifs, ands, or about, you know, about it. Like, it's a strong, strong connection, and there's a lot of love here, and there's a passionate new beginning. I just feel like somebody has to have a breakthrough, and it'll happen, and it has to do with a conversation that will get very much to the point, okay? Again, it could be, too, with that Five of Pentacles about why somebody was left out in the cold and rejected, with that two of swords. Now your hopes or fears, this is more of a hope, is this page of cups, a lot of Pisces energy. Why is the page of cups in Virgo's hopes or fears? And the nine of cups in reverse, okay? You guys might feel like somebody's a little bit immature with their emotions too, which might be leaving you a little bit drained, which I could totally see in this reading. Nine of cups in reverse, of course, is just feeling drained emotionally, but also like a lack of wish fulfillment. I think some of you are fearing if this person can't open up and get their emotions together because it is such a strong connection that it's going to result in a lack of wish fulfillment. Okay, but that's just your hopes or fears. The most likely outcome is this Five of Cups in reverse. Why is the Five of Cups in reverse for Virgo? Why is this Five... Ooh, cards are flying everywhere, you guys. Too many to take. Let's keep going. Why is this Five of Cups in the outcome for Virgo? Why the Five of Cups, please, in reverse? Why is this here for Virgo's outcome? The Knight of Wands in reverse. So Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Getting over the past, but this person might be kind of in and out of your life. But I feel like it's like you guys getting over that. You know, maybe they came, maybe they went. Like, it's like in and out energy, in and out energy. Like, the passion dies and then it starts again, right? But I feel like it's not, like, the outcome for what's going to happen. This is more the outcome shows you guys getting over that. If this person was, like, dodgy and in and out, because you obviously have a brand new beginning coming in with this person, with the Ace of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands in the reverse here in the outcome for Virgo? Yeah, see the Queen of Pentacles, there you guys are. Bringing back stability to this relationship or to this connection. This is a wife, mother, she's nurturing, she's stable, she's grounded. So there you guys are showing up. Male or female, it doesn't matter, but the Queen of Pentacles is bringing back that stability. You guys are getting over the past, probably about this person being in and out of your life. Because remember, we have this communication coming in, okay? A breakthrough, a conversation, about this passionate new beginning. What's this Queen of Pentacles about and the outcome for Virgo? For those of you that are male, you might be dealing with another earth sign too in their chart. What's the Queen of Pentacles? But this is just the energy of stability, being very, very grounded, nurturing. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here in the outcome, please? The Two of Swords in reverse. So now we've made a decision. It's iffy here coming in, but because it's such a strong connection with that lovers, now somebody's making a decision. Let's throw one more card on it and see what it is. What's this two of swords in reverse, please? No longer feeling blindfolded. What's this two of swords in reverse? What's this two of swords in reverse? Three of pentacles. Let's work together. Three of pentacles. There's your energy. Again, you might work with this person. If not, now the energy is with the two of swords in reverse. We're making the decision. It's a final decision. It's seeing the reality of a situation. It's no longer being foggy in our head, in our mind. We want to work together and build. The three of pentacles is, is a building stone towards that ten of pentacles. Stability, grounded. It could be a conversation about building for the future. All right. So that's kind of what I was seeing. And that's what played out? Let's pull you an oracle card from your guardian angels and see what they have to say, Virgo. All right, Virgo, what additional guidance do you want to give Virgo? This is for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Uh, I was going to say December. What happened in December? February 1st through February 15th, 2019. What do we want Virgo to know, please, about love? What do you want, Virgo, to know? I love this deck. Again, this is called the Guardian Angel deck, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Let's see what they have for you, Virgo. All right. We have the Five of Emotion, which we saw here. Five of, it would be like the Five of Cups. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through the process quickly 
so that you can get back on the path to joy. And that's exactly what happened. That's what I was saying, you guys, this deck always really, really resonates. So again, because I was saying it through here, we've got a lot of clearing of energy and of old negative patterns, no more one-sided stuff here. That's a very strong soulmate connection, right? And we're gonna have a conversation or some type of breakthrough about maybe the past or some type of hurtful words or betrayal or something like that. Somebody finally decides to work together. They've made the decision, yes, I wanna build. I wanna move forward for the future. So you've got to get over the past and you will resolve that. Whatever happened, it's like water under the bridge. Wow, that would be a good title, water under the bridge. Maybe I'll use that. All right, Virgo, love you hard, love me hard back, and we will speak soon. Take care.